my name is Sinead Shiner and I'm the 2013 Miss Rodeo America and I'm here in Columbus, Montana at Montana Silversmith Factory visiting. So excited to be here and check out all the new pieces as well as see how my Montana Silversmith jewelry and buckle is made. Today we're going to go over a little instructional video about how to layer pieces because Montana Silversmith is not only great for just one wearing one piece but it also goes well with many pieces. So it's fun to stack and layer your different jewelry. I'm going to show you a few pieces that I love and wear quite often when on the In this jewelry piece here, we have our gold and our silver. And what I like to do when layering pieces is you want to have a short piece that sits up about to your collar right there. And then I also have to have a longer piece. So of course, if you're jewelry, you can adjust your chains depending on what you're doing. I often, if you can't tie it in a knot in the back or, you know, find a shorter chain. But usually if you just tie a knot in the back, and you can set it differently on where you want it. And then next thing I like to look at is what is your favorite part that you want to accentuate in the necklace? Do you want to do gold or do you want to do the darker silver? When I travel on the road a lot, I'll organize my jewelry into different sections. I'll have my turquoise, my dark silver, my light silver, and my gold, which makes it really easy when you're on a run to quickly grab what piece you want to throw on. With this piece, I like to wear dark silver. So then you would just take one of my newest pieces I got is just a chain of dark silver that you can just put and just sit it right over the top. And look how well that works with our Montana Silver Smith piece. And another fun thing that I like to do with my longer neck necklaces sometimes is when you're wearing a collar, you can just slip them right underneath the collar and then the ends of it will just show and that accentuates your middle piece even more so. My next favorite is turquoise. Because, of course, turquoise is one of those colors that seems to go with a lot. So, I'm in love with it. Here, this one is one of my newest favorites, Montana Silversmith pieces. And this was actually one of the first pieces I received after winning Miss Rodeo America. So, it's very close to my heart. And like I said, also enjoy having a shorter piece that fits just right up above the collar and then a longer piece. With that one, I'll pair it with this necklace I received in Denver Market. And again, you just put it right over the top of it and it accentuates and blends right in. Gives a full look and also the great thing about having chunky jewelry is it pulls all the attention from your face Now, up. a lot of the great things is you don't have to buy expensive jewelry pieces to layer and match. Actually, you can collect as many as you want and it doesn't have to be expensive. This is a Montana Silversmith piece that I have and like to use one of my shorter pieces. Again, just tie the chain and a knot in the back and that way you can put it wherever you want. And then this piece, I actually just even bought at Walmart. Just a longer silver chain piece, whatever works. And again, just put it over the top of it. And look how all the circles all blend in together. Now also, my Montana Silversmith bracelets. Now that is my favorite thing to wear is bracelets. Because you can stack and layer as many as you want, and it's never too much <laughs> is the great thing about it. So I often have all these pieces that go together. And you can stack up. They don't have to fit perfectly together. Anything works. And... Like I said, the more you stack together, it's great. Layer all together, any bracelets you want, and look how well that works together. You don't even have to have a set color scheme, you don't have to have a set shape. The great thing about chunky bracelets, little bracelets, put them all together and it works, it looks cute. So that is the great thing about fashion styles and the way jewelry is moving nowadays is it's never too much. And so you can just add and accentuate, pick a vocal point that you want to focus on, whether it's your neck, your bracelets, either way, or your earrings even. Just put it all together and it seems to work no matter what. So don't be afraid to take a chance and try it all.